Hey guys and welcome to a new video. So quite a while ago I made a video called things new players do or things new TF2 players do with the intent to make this video you're watching right now much sooner than I did. So hello we're here let, let, let's make this one. A lot of people actually really liked the new players version of this so hopefully you guys do enjoy this one. If you do end up doing that then a like would be awesome but obviously watch the video before you like it to make sure you actually do. If you don't want to leave a like at the end that's completely fine don't worry about it. I shouldn't even have to say this at the start, but these videos are meant to be jokes. If I say something that offends you, it's not meant to be, like, offensive. I'm not meant to be attacking anyone. I'm just kind of picking fun at stereotypes and some of the stuff the community has said about older TF2 players. And when I say older TF2 players, I mean TF2 players who have been playing for quite a while. Like, a long time. So, yeah, let now that that's out of the way, let's get into the video. I'm going to start this one out by saying that older players tend to take the game a little bit more seriously. They've been playing TF2 for a long time, they've seen every bit of crazy the game has to offer, and they've participated in every bit of crazy the game has to offer. And basically they're just over it, they don't need to get involved anymore, so they don't really need to join in any, any conga lines, they don't want to join in any friendly session thing, whatever the hoovies are doing nowadays, I don't really know. So instead, they just play the game properly and try and cap the objective. But the truth is, they just aren't that bothered about friendlies or anything like that. So people might think they're tryharding when it's just, they're not, they don't find it all that funny, I guess. Or they've done it all before and it's not like all that anymore. So, you know, they're just playing the game properly and sometimes they get called tryhards. They might not be tryharding, they just might be playing the game and trying to get the objective. So, you know, that, that's kind of the point of the game. You might occasionally see a very seasoned player join in on the fun of the friendlies, but I haven't seen that happen too often. I myself, as quite an old TF2 player as well, uh, I don't really do that very often. I'd prefer to just shoot people instead of, you know, dance with them, I guess. This next point is for all of the old TF2 traders who've been playing the game for a few years. Do you remember when Buds were 27 keys and even more than that? Back in the days when they were at an actual form of currency in TF2 and people used to trade a singular bud for a fairly decent unusual to be fair. Like they they were definitely like my favourite days of TF2 trading. It makes me sound super old saying that but it's true. Trading used to be completely different a few years ago. I found it much easier. Things were just much more simple and a lot of people could understand it better and more people were doing it. Keys weren't anywhere near 30 ref at all. In fact there were like 4 or 6 ref which at the time was quite a lot for them and everybody was complaining that there were 6 ref and if only we would have known. If only we knew what was going to happen to them. Jesus Christ. I would give anything to go back to those times where training was easy because then a training series might actually be able to happen and you won't be stuck trying to get one key for like 27 million episodes. But I, I don't see that happening anytime soon. But the point is here that the whole face of trading has changed drastically and the older players will remember how it used to be when stuff was so much simpler. Another thing that has completely changed recently that people would have been very mixed about is the new matchmaking system. Personally, I think it's fine, but it's not quite the same as Quick Play, the old legend of TF2. Anyone who was playing TF2 before July of 2016, I can't believe that it was two years ago, would know that you could just search for whatever game mode you wanted and choose what server you wanted to go into just from quick play. It worked super quickly, as you know the name would suggest, and your friends could join you straight away. You could give them the server IP and they could join you, or they could just join straight off Steam. It was so much easier, it was so much better, and there wasn't a limit of how many friends could have joined you in that server. So if you're a group of seven trying to play TF2, it gets a little bit awkward trying to tell the guy that you don't really want to play with all that much that there's just no room for him. How many people actually play TF2 in groups of seven? Like. How many people have that many friends? I think quick play worked much better than matchmaking, but matchmaking did add a cool things with the ranks and then completely blew all of the potential they had on it by not giving you rewards, not giving you any badges or anything like that to do with it. It was just a number that means absolutely nothing. And then it had a whole host of other issues as well. And it was just like, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I miss quick play. Actually comment down below what your favourite version of it was. Do you prefer the newer matchmaking system or do you prefer quick play? I think it would be quite interesting to see what you guys think. Or how many of you guys weren't even playing when quick play was a thing. I don't know how many new players meet your match brought in but you know like it would be cool to see. 
So the last two points kind of go in together. The first way it could go is that players remember absolutely everything about every single weapon in the game. Because they've been taking the game seriously for quite a long time, they know what everything does and they know how to counter everything. So, you know, you're, you're very, very good at the game. You've maybe played a bit of competitive. I don't really know. I mean, that might not help you with every weapon, but it would help. But basically, you know a lot about TF2 weapons and you know what each one does and what you can expect when you're fighting somebody with one. The other point is the complete flip side to that. Some older players have no idea what some weapons do or they might completely forget what some weapons do, especially if they haven't actually been playing the game for a while and then they come back to it after like a year out or something like that. They haven't realized Jungle Inferno has changed the way everything works. The Sandman and the Guillotine is no longer a combination that is useful or fun to do anymore, which completely sucks because it was amazing to use before. So maybe you've gone into a server with the Sandman and Guillotine, you've slowed somebody down and not bonked them, got confused, and then you missed your cleaver because that's normally what happens in pubs, let's be honest. And the Soda Popper is like, nothing is the same as it was a while ago. Like, why did they change it so much? Just leave the poor thing alone. I do feel kind of bad for that TF2 player that would have come back after a year out, missed all of the changes of Jungle Inferno, found loads of these new weapons, tried to use them, found out they, they kind of sucked, then went back to using the weapons they used to use before to kind of figure out that they also suck because they keep balance changing weapons and making them awful so nobody uses them anymore. So yeah, TF team, if you could just stop doing that, that'd be great. And then they eventually decide that, you know, just stock's the best. So just going to use that. Don't even have to worry about other weapons because you've got the stock stuff. Isn't that fun? So anyway, that is going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave it a like. I'd love to see if we can get like 150 likes or something like that. The last few videos have been doing around that. So if we could get 150, that would be awesome. Also, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more stuff like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another upload that could be similar to this one or another load of TF2 content that you will enjoy anyway. So thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you did enjoy it once again, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.